It's been a while since my last video. The reason why is because I broke something on the car. I haven't messed up in a while, but you know, we're human and we mess up. So what actually happened was, let me grab it. What happened was, Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. We've got an interesting, really cool video for you guys today. A direct comparison of the Steeda lowering springs, the progressive rate versus the dual rate. Yes, you can see that we have ripped apart the car once again. It's kind of cool because I do have some experience over the past month or so with the progressive lowering springs from Steeda and their Pro Action shocks and struts. The car does sit really good on these springs and I'm really enjoying the feeling we're getting out of them. I mean, being able to live with the car and then also be able to still take turns like we have been doing. It's just been a, uh, a real treat. Again, we may try something a little bit different in the future, and then you guys can follow along by subscribing and staying up to date with the videos. Don't sleep on those shock to struts. It's definitely worth it. This is a non-Magna Ride performance package Mustang. We're gonna skip through all the install because we don't need to cover that. We mostly want to know how are they gonna compare back to back. Again, I have not seen something like this done on YouTube. Going from a progressive rate to a dual rate, from a non-adjustable to an adjustable. So progressive on the left here, and then we have the new dual rate springs. This one is a lot stiffer. This is a nice, comfortable setup for anybody that has a street mustang with some light track use autocross road race stuff like that we want to start kind of exploring the capabilities and handling of the s650 versus the straight line stuff that we've done before this time around i want to really kind of focus on handling performance above speed we're going to add that as these things become unlocked they're still as of this video still pcm locked from fords no! progressive excellent riding spring especially combined with the pro action non-adjustable shock and strut setup i wanted more adjustability without going full coil over so this was kind of the the recipe uh, from steeda that they suggested was do the dual rate springs with their adjustable pro action shocks and struts but basically where these end as they're full fully compressed is basically where these begin so this is a much heavier duty spring uh is it going to be too much for the street i don't know but i do like cars that kind feel really hardcore anyway. I also have the ability now to adjust the suspension feel with these. Check out the video description down below for discount codes. Go to steeda.com, use promo code Xander at checkout, and you can save money when you're modding your car. Uh. It's like 30 degrees out here, guys. It's been a while since my last video. The reason why is because I broke something on the car. I haven't messed up in a while, but you know, we're human and we mess up. So what actually happened was, let me grab it. So word of the wise, if you're gonna go to the pro action adjustable version of the shocks and struts from Steeda, go ahead and get there, let me show you. Go ahead and get these, all right? This is a much more hardcore component. You're gonna to have to drill out Okay, the top here. So I bought a really expensive $30 drill bit for hard metal. And the problem is that we messed up the rubber bushing inside of here. So you can see all this play. Inside, it's pretty much all rubber. You got that little metal piece sitting inside and that's basically move it up and down because all the rubber that's basically in here, if you've ever had one of these apart, you'll know, has completely melted out of this thing and it's just moving around the car's been sitting for about two weeks so we've had to wait on shipping because of christmas and holidays and so on and so forth but the parts are here it's a nice one piece billet um piece with like a pretty much a spherical bearing in here so this is already drilled out so yeah they're a little expensive but if you want to save some money go down in the video descriptions down below in this video and use the promo codes that i have for all the different companies down there to save you guys money Okay, I love saving you guys money. More money you can save, more you can mod. Yeah, basically what happened is, as I was drilling through this piece of hunking crap here, it got so hot that the rubber actually fell out, which has given us this play that we don't want. I love the way that the dual rates sat on the car. So the front end raised just a tad, but the rear end kind of came down. So we want that perfect stance, so this will help. Got their alignment kit, subframe alignment kit. We've also got, might as well, at the same time, go ahead and do their lockouts, their bushing lockout kit. Now, I didn't get the big arms. So we're going to do all that later with sway bars and everything else. But since we're back here dropping the whole independent rear suspension, 
makes sense to go ahead and do this all at one time. So side by side, this is what they look like. So got this hunk of junk here from Ford. It's not really that bad, but I mean, from if you're never going to mess with this, then it's fine. But if you're going to go to the uh, 12 millimeter shafted adjustable shocks and struts, well, it's really just the shocks. You're gonna probably gonna want to go ahead and get these. That way, you don't have to drill out this hole since it's uh, it's wider. You can see how I went through the metal there, and it took about 30 minutes each side, maybe even longer to actually get through that. But it got so hot that the rubber just kind of fell apart. But you can see there's nothing in there to fail. So this is going to be hopefully the answer to our problem because it was clunking around and just not good. And then now these guys, we're gonna take one per side and I'm gonna literally slide it right up in here. It's not going to increase noise, vibration, harshness or anything like that because you still have this rubber isolator that's gonna go up uh, in between the sandwich. What this will do is basically because of the geometry of their, their rear suspension, when this is settled back down to the ground, the thickness of this is going to be basically double when we load this car it's actually going to raise the back of the car about a quarter of an inch which is exactly what we need to have this thing sit pretty and even with the front of the car and might as well like i said go ahead and do these at the same time to get rid of all the wheel hop this um, should get rid of about 90 percent of it or so if you want to do the long arms that steeda sells definitely recommend those too i'm going to be doing it in the future get this thing to be a handling go-kart feeling car on the street and on the track but let's get to work let's go light at the end of the tunnel we got the new steeda shock mounts on dual rate springs adjustable suspension with their lockouts and to tie things up we've also done the alignment kit that they have to keep everything squared everything is knuckled down tight installed perfectly everything is good to go let's just Also during the install, I put in some eighth inch spacers to go up into the spring perch to give a little bit of height in the rear. The dual rates overall from the progressive sit a little bit higher, maybe about an eighth of an inch all around. But now, the car is sitting absolutely dead perfect. I liked it before, but I really, really like it now. It's a little bit more than a finger in the front and in the rear. Of course, the rear tire is a little bit bigger, but I've got one finger. All right, so more about those little spacers back here. They live up inside of the spring perch that sit on top of the rubber isolator on top of the spring. So you're gonna get no increase in NVH and they have different sizes. Maybe you've got a big old fat Mickey Thompson back there and you need a little bit more height. So not just cosmetics for those. They also have them for the front. Eighth inch spacers that we have in the back, basically because of the geometry, whenever it's sitting on the ground, you're gonna get double that. So we have about a fourth of an inch. So I could have actually probably gotten away with just a fourth inch spacer to give us a half inch more driving a review coming in the next video a lot to explain a lot to talk about in comparison to how it was before so oem progressive and now dual rate springs a lot of people are afraid of this setup is it daily drivable because this is a daily. We're gonna discuss all of those things, but I've got to tell you that I'm pleasantly surprised so far. So stay tuned, springs and shock, strut, suspension, it's all subjective and everybody likes their own flavor. Kind of cool now we've got to taste a couple of different recipes here and I think that this is the one that's going to stay on this car and we're gonna progress from here. Let's continue walking around, just showcase car a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna continue adding some go fast parts, some handling bits. We made it this far. Remember, we've got discount codes down in the video description. If you like saving money and you like modding your car i do both and i know you guys do too save some money go check out the video descriptions down below we all enjoy modding our cars and we want to save a couple of dollars when we do it go down below don't miss the codes down below go check them out there's a ton of them anyway that's going to pretty much wrap up the video loving the stance and the ride of this new all new steeda dual rate setup on this mustang gt so more to come in the next video we're going to talk to death about it try to compare from feeling without you guys actually being in the car how the suspension has differed on both of them because both are streetable but one's better than the other which one will it be i don't know that's kind of subjective 
stay tuned. We'll discuss it in the next video. God bless. See you later. Bye.